This is video 6 about how you configure search engine optimization and system. Joomla SEO template is a very important thing to an administrator. So when we made the Joomla template, we tried to optimize it for SEO as much as possible. Joomla's default doesn't allow us to put headings in H1 tag, but as you know, the H1 will be visible to search engines. With JSN Epic, H1 tag will be shown along with the website name and logo slogan on top of the logo when you enable top H1 tag. Next you can see how this feature allows you to put in the go to top link. When you enable the go to top link, there's a go to top button at the bottom of each page. It will smoothly scroll your page to the top, which is convenient for website usability. JSN Epic is able to detect links to various popular file extensions and assign icons accordingly. If you disable it, icon will not appear automatically. When you enable this function, icons will automatically be assigned to link. Printing optimization will give your website visitors a totally optimized page for a printer. Turn this feature off so the whole page will be output to a printer. Turn it on and only the important content is occluded and nothing else will print, such as the side column content. In the SEO parameters template, we have one tab to put the analytics code and to choose the code position. Google Analytics Code has two script versions with different positions to put the code, before the body ending tag and before the ending head tag. Input your Google Analytics code here. Code will be installed in the right position automatically. When you have a special dedicated CSS file for content styling, just put custom CSS files into the template's CSS folder and define them in the template parameter custom CSS files. This feature allows you to load multiple custom CSS files along with template default files. By enabling both CSS and JS compression feature, you can reduce your requests and increase your website performance by about 35%. This feature combines all CSS or JS files into a single file and delivers it in a compressed state to the browser. Compressed files will be stored in a cache folder. You can define any folder starting from the Joomla root folder. For example, my folder is the TMP folder. If I go to the TMP folder, we will see two compressed files for CSS and JS files. With Squeezebox, when you disable Moo Tools, the Squeezebox function won't be automatic. When you enable it, JSN Template will load automatically all modal files, which lets you use modal boxes anywhere. So, we finished SEO and system configuration. Thank you for watching. With these six tutorial videos, you already have learned a lot about JSN Templates, and we hope you love it. You can keep in touch on Facebook and Twitter with a username Joomla Shine.